Well, my name's Mark Mooney um, from Woking in Surrey, and uh, I look after a farm. My name's Philip, I'm from Wimborne in Dorset, and I'm a sales and marketing manager for a printing company. Russ, guys, um, been around far too long now. Uh, I've spent the last 15 years looking after my dad until last year when I lost him. Uh, to me, it's it's a, about uh, enjoying yourself, having fun, um, and also supporting the charity. Uh, it it means a lot more to me recently as my son-in-law, who's actually in some of these photos, um, was diagnosed with testicular cancer a couple of, two two and a half years ago, and you know ended up on chemo and and all the rest of it, and it brought it home to me how, how it affects you and how it affects, you know, everyone thinks it affects somebody else, but it doesn't. It's amazing how it, it gets to everybody. You know, everyone knows someone that has been affected by it. So trying to do what we do, make a few quid and, and, and do what we do and enjoy it. Oh, uh, I was, it had happened over a long period of time. He'd had uh, backache problems, which we thought was just, they thought initially it was their old bed, you know, just hurting, went away and came back again, etc. Then um, there were a couple of other bits that had turned up and uh, then ended up noticing a lump and a lump in his neck. And uh, when we found out, I'll be honest, I thought, It was over, you know, because it had, in my mind it had got everywhere, you know, and and was, I was going to lose my best mate and my son-in-law. Um, you know, so yeah, it was it was hard. <laughs> um, and but Carl himself is just the most amazing bloke. He just literally is like right obviously shocked and what have you but bring it on and he has been an absolute uh, soldier <laughs> all the way through it he's just whatever it's thrown at him he stands up and he takes it on the chin and, and is and has now beaten it you know so it's it's been brilliant so hi my name is george i'm from Poole. And obviously I'm retired through medical discharge from the military, but I spend most of my time now doing charity work. Initially, the uh, the doctor was was not great. It was, you know, oh, we need to build up a case to find out what's wrong with you and, and all the rest of it. And eventually he ended up in, my daughter took him to A&E and um, ended up, a couple of nurses came to see him and they're like you know you're right and he's like yeah i'm fine and my daughter broke down it's like basically no you're not all right stop being so brave mm. and i suppose within an hour he was up in a ward on chemo um and then from then on from when it was diagnosed just first first rate all the way through unbelievable um surgery and all the rest of it we went up to royal marsden which is where he had the you know his operation yeah. And uh, that, I think he was on the slab for 12 hours for the op. He ended up losing a kidney and a testicle and, you know, all the rest of it. And there's been a couple of little surgeries since, but yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, it's, it's personal. Yeah, it's, it's definitely personal. Every Everyone that you speak to they know someone or know of someone who's got cancer or going through it so these events the guys that come and do it they're not doing it for themselves they're doing it because they want to help make a difference mm. built up a friendship with Mike and then was you know invited onto the team and then from there they asked me to become one of the managers on there with them and um, we're sort of mo moving on now hopefully from strength to strength you know um, so yeah, it's it's young, but really, but um, 
Uh, it's been just been lovely because we've had, obviously through COVID, like everybody, not been able to do anything or meet anybody or what have you. And I've been speaking with these guys, you know, on the computer and what have you, but it's been just so nice to actually come down, meet the people face to face and, you know, have some fun, basically. Mike Smith, uh, I work at Bella Italia up at Winfield Forest Centre Parks. Uh, yeah, and I've been a waiter there for about 14 years. No, didn't know. I mean, I'd spoken to, to, to Mike and originally on the phone, but, uh, you know, didn't know the others and only really known the rest of them through through our little sort of WhatsApp group um, and, and chatting. So, yeah. Gus has had the biggest fish this yeah. week. Um, yeah, he's had the biggest. Um, it's been hard going. Um, but what's been nice is actually I've had a little go last night and today because we found out they've got some eels here and I've caught my first two eels by design literally today which has been brilliant for yeah. me it's like a you know it's first and and been really enjoyable so yeah through my brother um, George is one of the managers for the team and obviously hearing the stuff that they were doing I thought I wanted to get involved and see how much I can help raise money for cancer. The theory is obviously to raise money for cancer research through the means of fishing so say you went fishing and caught a four pound six ounce fish you'd donate four pound six p to cancer. Um, normally sea angler um, but I started cut fishing about five or six years ago with my brother obviously he can't fish on his own so being with him obviously learning a few things off everyone, it's really good fun. Uh, charities affect me in a way, good and bad really, you know, you get on board which is fantastic, you know, helping the worthy cause, but obviously with your family members and stuff like that, your friends and you hear about how much cancer affects families, you know, you, you want to help and sometimes it makes you feel, you know, memories from family members and what's, what they've gone through. Mm. Obviously losing dad last year, I've gone back now to full-time work, so. I'm uh, the founder of A Bite Out of Cancer, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's what I love doing, really. You know, I love fishing and uh, hate cancer, so put two together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know none of them, you know, I. Mike, especially, we speak every day, you know, over video, WhatsApp, or calls or texts. And that's how I get to meet the guys. You know, I, I know Philip personally because obviously he's my brother, but the rest of the guys I've only met through social media. Uh, meeting the guys, obviously, meeting new people, you know, getting on the bank and meeting everyone. And the best thing about it is, you know, you can have a laugh as well as raising money for cancer. There's nothing better. Obviously, a couple more fish would be lovely, apart from the one I've had, but, you know, it will be good fun in the end. We've raised nearly £25,000 now to date, and obviously, after the fishing trip, the guys are going to donate their first fish and their heaviest fish to the cancer research. Um, this is my first time coming out with the charity, obviously. I started in February this year, coming on board with the charity and doing, you know, seeing that much we can do and that. But hopefully this is the first event we've got this year. And it'd be nice to meet, obviously, a couple of the team members couldn't make it down for this event. So it'd be nice to meet them in the following events we've got coming this year. So you saw Mike auctioning off some stuff they've been gifted to raise money for cancer. So I dropped him a message saying, if you need any advice, give us a shout and then obviously it's stemmed on more and more from there you know I originally just offered some advice and now I'm managing and kind of Mike's right hand man yeah it is like a nice little community you know it's you know learning different techniques of fishing you know pointers you know this obviously I'm probably the least experienced angler here so learning from the guys is brilliant you know absolutely brilliant 
I started a charity um, back in 2018 uh, officially, uh, but in 2015 I lost my father to um, cancer. Uh, and then a few years before that I lost my granddad to a brain tumor as well. So um, in 2017, uh, me and my best mate Paul went fishing and we decided to donate the, the weight of what fish we caught uh, to Cancer Research UK. We've got a few celebrities involved at the moment. We've had um, we've got a guy called Hugh Miles and uh, Chris Yates. Obviously, back in the day, they were you know the guys. They did a passion for angling. Chris Yates back then for caught the first British fifty pound carp. Uh, we had a video call the other day with uh, Rob Hughes, who runs Team GB, and obviously we've got Martin Bolin. Obviously, a longer list of celebrities out there watching and helping us. Um, which, which we were told it was it was stage four, so we were like, there's not really any hope. But he lived each day as it as it came, so each day was new, each day was a bonus, and uh, yeah, he, he, he did his chemotherapy, and he, they they managed to they couldn't cut all the cancer out of his head. Uh, they, they, they had to leave a bit in because of where it was on, on the side of his brain and um, it was the size of a pea that they, they left in and they said with the chemotherapy they shrink it and uh, they managed to shrink it down to the size of a pea yeah so it was really looking looking positive um. so yeah the charity came about uh, four years ago when uh, Mike the founder of the charity lost his dad and granddad to cancer and obviously Mike then wanted to do something because the awareness is there for cancer but you know anyone can go for a run or anyone can go for a walk but this is just unique you know I think because we're unique we're getting a bigger following. Um, fishing basically uh, if he hadn't have taken me fishing when I was uh, when I was a kid then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here now you know I wouldn't be doing this I wouldn't be be fishing and loving loving what I do like you know I'd, I'd probably be on the streets uh, with all the other guys who I grew up with like I don't know doing drugs or something like that you know it's that that's that's how my life's different from from what it is I just found something that I love doing and suffering with ADHD as well when I was a kid it was uh, yeah it, it's definitely fishing was was a way forward found something I love doing and, and, and I still love doing it to this day you know so yeah, him taking me fishing to my matches or, or flying big kites and stuff, you know, that was good. Or driving around in his kit car that he, that he built from scratch, which was, which was good as well. Like, yeah, just, just little things and stuff like that, really. Yeah. We, can, we, can, we can help help people. Yeah. He'd be super proud about what we're doing. Um, he will be, my granddad will be. You know, uh, just yeah. It's, it, in my eyes, it's all for them. You know, it's, it's all for all for them, them people that that are suffered by cancer. And... Just be positive. Have hope because there has to be hope. If you don't have hope, then then what is the point? You know, you have to be strong. You have to believe you can beat it, no matter how hard or, or how big or how painful it is, you know, you've got to have hope. If you don't have hope, then, then we're lost, then we're without hope.